Tinibu begs U.S. Atiku and Nigerians must not see this my academic records due to this. Breaking news. Hello, people. Welcome back once again to this particular channel. You know, I promise to be giving you guys updates about what is happening in the Chicago, uh, in, in Chicago, especially in the United States of America. You know, Tinibu, as a matter of fact, is being so diabolical. I must tell you for the fact, you know, they gave him a deadline of yesterday to file his petition. And, you know, he secretly filed that petition uh, at the uh, deadline being around 11.59 that yesterday and uh, filed to the court. And today, the petition that he filed and the reason that he gave to uh, the court, why the court should not release his uh, academic records to, uh, to, to Atiku Abubakar has been exposed and has been reviewed. And this is the uh, reason why I'm making this particular video for Nigerians to see who their president is. A president that is so scared for uh, for for a university he claimed he attended to release his academic records. So that is the essence of doing this video for you to see the reason Balatinibu gave for uh, for Chicago State University not to release his academic records. Well, before we dive into this particular matter, before I expose everything, if this is your first time of visiting this particular channel, please don't hesitate to click on the notification button so I get notified whenever I drop important information and update like this. And equally subscribe to my channel. Now let, let's head straight to the point without you know wasting much of your time. Now. People should know that these are the these Tinibu's arguments in the U.S. District Court against Atiku's application for his educational records. Now, the number one thing Tinibu argued, Tinibu argued that though Atiku's Atiku's application fulfilled one of the three uh, one of three jurisdictional issues, but it did not fulfill the two remaining uh, 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 issues. Now, look at what Tinibu is claiming, as you can see on the screen. He said that, that the discovery of educational document is not for use in the pending electoral proceedings. Tinibu, as a matter of fact, is claiming that the, uh, that the document that Atiku wants to obtain from the uh, Chicago State University is not of, uh, for use in the pending ele electoral proceedings, which is happening in the ele uh, election petition tribunal in Nigeria. Now, here, people should know that Tinibu argued that in the electoral petition before the uh, presidential election petition tribunal that Atiku did not raise his educational background in the initial petition, that even though he tendered evidence, called witnesses and made arguments in his final written address to that effect. Now, you know, look at what Tinibu is doing. You know, he thinks that this is uh, Nigeria where he can use technicalities to deceive people. He's saying, he's telling the court that Atiku, as a matter of fact, does not need that, those documents that he's requesting from Chicago State University. Since Atiku Abaka did not put, you know, uh, uh, did not challenge his educational background, and we all know this is a lie. If you if you all could go back to the uh, petition that Atiku Abubakar filed against Balame Tinibu, certificate forgery and his educational background, we are one of the things that Atiku Abubakar filed. Now, Tinibu is trying to lie in, uh, to the court in Chicago State for them to, to see as, uh, to, to see Atiku as if probably he didn't, you know, apply for a uh, petition uh, that Tinibu's educational background back here in Nigeria. You can see what Tinibu is trying to do and how he's trying to lie to the uh, court in the uh, Chicago State, in, in Chicago State. Now, Let's go back. Uh, let's go again. Then Tinibu equally said that Atiku is not an interested party in other proceedings. Here, Tinibu argued that Atiku is not a party to an Ahoro case, being that it was an Ahoro who started the discovery of Tinibu's educational records. We all know that this particular an Ahoro was the person that actually started this whole case. You know, then Atiku Abubakar sought to be part of the case and was made a petitioner in the case. And this is uh, 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 accepted in the law court. He can decide to you know join a case or a suit that somebody filed if you think that the suit has one or two ways to affect you. But Tinibu is lying to the court that since it was an Ahoro that actually initiated this case, that Atiku has nothing to do with it. You know, it is quite pathetic. Now you can see that second, but the other part he said that Tinibu argued that himself and Atiku are parties in an ele election suit and should be a reason not to grant his application. That the Supreme Court has cautioned about it. He said that because he, he, he and Atiku are uh, in a court that that as a matter of fact his document should not be released. You could imagine that means he wants his document not to be released to his opponents for his opponents to use it. Meanwhile, he is he's a public figure and claims to be the number one citizen of this particular country. Now, the third one said that Tinibu also argued that Atiku cannot use the documents if given, since evidence at the tribunal closed since July 29, 2023. So there is no indication that the Nigerian court will receive additional evidence. Now, here, yeah, Tinibu is trying to lie to, to the uh, Chicago State Court that Atiku Abubakar, as a matter of fact, cannot submit more documents. And this is practically a lie. People should know that no matter whatever the uh, tribunal, being the election patient tribunal rules, if Atiku Abubakar appeals for the for whatever ruling they give, Atiku Abubakar can equally you know, bring in more advanced evidence based on the uh, petition that he filed, because he truly filed a, a petition against the post academic or qualification and all that. So he can easily bring, uh, if, if Atiku Abubakar at the end of the day discovers something that is mischievous in Tinibu's academic records and probably he forged us through the identity of somebody in the United States, of course he can add it up in his, uh, in, in his petition if he wants to go to the appeal court. Now, 
people should know that finally, Tinibu argued that art Article's application is unduly intrusive or contains burdensome requests that the numerous documents listed by Article are beyond broad and are burdensome and the dis disposition subpoena is a fishing expedition and to satisfy curiosity. Now, it's, look at the uh, flimsy and the funny excuse that Tinibu gave that as a matter of fact, that the, the document that Article Abubakar you know, uh, is requesting is burdensome and is big. It's not like it is Tinibu that is going to, you know, provide all these documents. This is a work that is meant for Chicago State University. You know, of course, if Chicago State University, you know, uh, we, we are the ones that are going to provide this particular document, they might re require a little charge or fee from Atika Baka. And it is Atika Baka that will bear the burden of uh, of the financial burden of paying for it. So why is Tinibu so interested, whether it is burdensome or not burdensome? It is none of his business. His business is that Atika Baka wants to know his true credentials and the uh, documents that he used in gaining admission from the from the, uh, Chicago State University. So he shouldn't be more consigned. You know, he, he doesn't even have any excuse because all these excuses you can see on the screen are just flimsy excuses. You know, he doesn't have any concrete or tangible excuse for for, for for why the court shouldn't you know order Chicago State University to release uh, his documents to Atiku Abubakar. You could see all the flimsy excuses and all the lies that he told that Atiku Abubakar, as a matter of fact, did not challenge his educational background and, 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 and qualification. That Atiku Abubakar does not need uh, the documents that he, that he, that Chicago State University might provide for him. You know, you could see all the lies. And lastly, he now rounded it off with this big lie that Atiku Abubakar, as a matter of fact, is requesting that the documents he is requesting for you know they are burdensome and all that. You could see that there is something fish this man is running away from. If truly he's clean and neat, of course he wouldn't hesitate. Even he would be one of the first persons to say, go ahead and release my documents and my whatever document he needs to him. But Nibu is hiding a whole lot of things. We've told you the reason. This man, as a matter of fact, has a whole lot of discrepancies. Tinibu that attended this particular university, you know, uh, 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 was born in a different uh, date of birth. And the person that attended this university was a black American citizen. Why Tinibu in Nigeria is a Nigerian citizen who claimed that he has never acquired any citizenship. The Tinibu that acquired, uh, that gained the admission in that particular university is a female. Why the Tinibu that we have in Nigeria as our so-called president is a male? So that means there is something fishy. I think we should keep on digging. I must tell you for the fact because there is something fishy this man, as a matter of fact, is trying to hide from Nigerians. He doesn't want Nigerians, as a matter of fact, not to, to see the, the magamongo or probably the possible identity theft that he did way back then in the United States. And this is going to go a long way in imprisoning him. And it's a very serious case. Identity theft in the United States and even in, the, in Nigeria is a very serious case. You can see what Nibu is trying to do. He's trying to use technicalities. Of course, he has, he, he, he categorically, he didn't even state the main reason why Atiku Abaka should not receive his uh, 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 academic records from Chicago State University. He's just trying to work on technicalities that Atiku Abaka, Abaka does not need the documents again. Meanwhile, he knows that Atiku Abaka needs his. He's just basically lying in court so that, to see if the court will rule in his favor. And thank God this is a, a, a United States story where you cannot easily bribe the judges or where you cannot easily maneuver, maneuver yourself with bribery and anything. The justice, justice must be served. And this is why Tinibu is running Heta Skeeter. Well, I will keep you guys posted. And as I promise, whatever, whenever the next judgment comes up, or probably next document, I will still update you guys concerning what is actually happening over there.